Recently, I got access to GitHub Copilot, a collaboration between GitHub and OpenAI, and it's an ML model or an AI that can write code. So today, we're gonna to be taking it for a spin to see who is the better programmer, Copilot or me. And to be honest, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Copilot's been getting a lot of coverage lately, and that's because, well, copyright reasons, but also because it looks to be fairly competent. As for my credentials, I've worked at companies like Google and Amazon before, which is gonna be a relevant benchmark here because we're gonna be working on interview questions that you might take to get into one of those sorts of companies. So without further ado, let's jump over to LeetCode where we can start working on our problems. Here we are on LeetCode. As you can see, there's different difficulties of problems. So we'll start out with some easy, move on to some medium, and then move on to hard. So let's just, let's pick a random one and I guess we'll keep doing this until we get an easy one. Here we go, we got our first easy and I'll say we're just gonna decide the winner by who gets it in less submissions. We're not gonna worry about time considering uh, Copilot could do this almost instantly. So I'll go first and feel free to skip ahead if all you wanna see is the AI, but I'll make this short and to the point. So this is our first one, reformat date, given a date string, day, month, year, uh, where the day is uh, first, second, so on, month is like this and year is in this range, convert the date string to format to this specific format. So an example is they give 20th October, 2052, and then we have to convert it to this format. Seems easy enough. I should also mention, I won't be testing my code because Copilot doesn't have that ability. Let's zoom in a little bit. So hopefully this is good. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I've gone ahead and put together my solution. It's a little bit long, but this problem is a little bit tedious. There's lots of places where I could have easily misspelled something and this entire thing could go wrong. I'm not gonna test this because Copilot also can't test it before I run it. So let's just run it and see if I'm right. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, uh, oh gosh. Oh no. Okay, it looks, okay, actually, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a pass here because it looks like they're not letting us import outside libraries. So give me one second. I didn't know this was the case. Uh, so I, I'm gonna give myself a pass here. I won't count this as a solution. I will um, fix this and be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Got that worked out though. So let's go ahead and submit this now and see what we get. And we pass, okay, that's good. And it, okay, pretty good time, definitely. Next thing to do now is have Copilot give this a go. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. What we need to do is copy the problem statement and all these examples and everything. And what we can do is copy and paste this into Visual Studio Code. So let's put this in here with some quotations around it. I guess a little something like this, oh, like this. And then we also need to copy the function body. So let's reset this to what we had in the beginning and copy it over. And then now that we have this, if we back up, hopefully it should suggest, there we go, we have a suggestion. We can hit tab to get that. And I'm not even gonna look over this. I'm just gonna go ahead and run it. This is a lot simpler, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I have a feeling this isn't gonna work, but let's see. Okay, it did not. So that's one point for me. So let's actually see what happened here. It looks like the output, it gets the year correct. I think the month, yeah, I don't see anything to account for the month here, right? Yeah, the month, it's it's not doing the conversion. It looks like it didn't get that conversion understood very well. And then the other thing is it also looks like the day. Yeah. Okay, well, that's one point in the bag for me. So let's move on to the next question. We'll randomize this again. Here we are at our second problem. Now this is a linked list problem. I know I said I'd do two easies. I'm skipping to a medium though, just to speed this up a little bit, we can go back and do the easy if we really need to. But essentially all we have to do here is add the numbers represented by two linked lists and return an appropriate linked list. Now this isn't too hard in and of itself, but if you wanna solve it efficiently, this will actually take a little bit of effort. I'll go ahead and do the hard way, the more efficient way. I'm not sure if the AI will, whether or not it does, I think it'll be fine, but let me go ahead and program up my solution and then I'll be right back. Okay, here we have my solution. <laughs> it's a bit long, honestly, I regret not going for the little bit easier route. I might do that in the future solutions, but essentially all we're doing here is we're going with a constant memory solution and a linear runtime solution. So essentially all we're doing is we're reversing both of the linked lists and then we're creating a new one and essentially adding them up one by one as we go sort of backwards through the lists. So I I don't think this is gonna work. This is pretty long. Uh, there's no way I didn't make a mistake, but let's see. Submitting, oh gosh. Uh, time limit exceeded. I think I probably have an infinite loop in here then. I'm gonna, 
pause the video and take a look. I guess we'll see. Oh gosh, I, I did have an infinite loop. I'm not progressing my pointers for my two linked lists that I'm adding up. So I just kept trying to add up the same thing. So let's go ahead and add that here. If P1 is not none, then we are going to say P1 equals P1 dot next. Then we're gonna do the same thing for P2. And honestly, I still don't think this is gonna work, but let's, let's see, this will be my second submission. So I'll give the AI or Codepilot a, an extra submission too. But let's see if this works. Oh geez, oh no. Okay, I'll take another look, but this isn't looking good for me. Let's actually go ahead and run Copilot really quick because if it gets it right, I don't even have to continue, although this will bother me. So let's open up a notepad. I'll save my response. What we'll do is we will reset this, take the description, and oh, this example is not, we can't put in pictures, but that's okay that should hopefully it'll be fine so we put in our description now under the example one we can just take this out example two yeah i just want to make sure this is formatted properly oh it's even suggesting examples that's hilarious now that we have this though we can copy this and honestly i kind of hope this is just right so i don't have to keep working on this <laughs> sometimes these are fun sometimes they're really not okay this is a lot easier solution. Oh my gosh, there's no way this will work. Surely, right? It's it's far too simple. Let's go ahead and run it. We're about to find out. Uh, not that that matters, but let's submit. Div mod. I don't even know it. Okay, it's wrong. It's wrong. It gets one more try though, because I got an extra try. What is div mod? I'm going to have to... Oh, it's division and then a mod. I see, I see. Uh, makes sense, I guess. Let's go ahead and try this again. So what we can do is delete this. Once it gives us this, we can actually ask for more. So here's our next our next possible solution. You can see the carrying and stuff is in there. So let's see if this works. Let us see. Oh, I didn't mean to copy the whole thing there. I just meant to copy this. Oh gosh, not paste it. Maybe this will work. Who knows? Who knows? Submit this. Oh gosh, though, I guess the suffering continues. <laughs> Neither of us are getting this one right. So I'll go back. I will go back to my solution and uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'll be back when I finish my next submission. Okay, I think I found the issue. If we look at the problem before, what you'll notice is that my solution outputted seven. And what I think was happening was I was, if we go up here, I was actually forgetting to reset my linked list pointer on the final node. So I was reversing these except for the last one. So it was just a three and a four is essentially what I was getting. And I was adding those, which gave me seven. So I think that's what's happening. Easy solution. We just add this. Hopefully, I also did find a little typo down here. So that was a nice catch. Let's see if it works this time. Oh, oh, thank God, finally. Oh my gosh. Um, not very fast and bad on a, wow, this was just a bad solution overall. Oh, well, I definitely made this more complicated than I needed to, but let's give the AI one more go as we should. So open up Visual Studio code and see what it suggests. So this is, I think the same as the original thing it suggested, right? So we go one forward, two forward. <laughs> this is its last chance. I have a feeling it's not going to get this one either, but we'll give it a go we will give it a go and submit. It certainly is a much simpler solution if it works now. Unfortunately not, unfortunately not, it is a bit off, but it, it gave it its best. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping it would get some of these. I did a little testing before this and Codepilot was able to get quite a few. So it's just off its game right now, but I'll go ahead and whip up another problem. Okay, I've randomized again to get another problem. I know I keep going back and forth on this. I said we do a medium next, but Codepilot has been having some trouble, so I'm gonna give it another easy one. And I think this is actually a pretty good problem because if you read this, what you'll see is that this is actually, it seems fairly simple to me, except for it puts a spin on it in terms of just wording. So it's it's really gonna be up to, like there's an NLP challenge to understand what the problem's actually asking. But essentially all it is, is we have a list, an even uh, length list of different integers. And we want to figure out um, how, well, how do they skin it? There's like a girl and she wants to eat candies. She can eat up to half, she can eat half of the candies. How many different types can she eat? 
or unique types. And each integer represents a different type of candy. Um, if that doesn't make sense, here's an example, right? There's one, one, two, two, three, three. She can eat three of these. So to maximize the amount of different candy she would eat, she would take a one, a two, and a three. So that's three unique types or three unique different integers. So we'd output a three. If, um, for example here though, maybe there was a, or here's a, here's a good example. Uh, one, one, two, three, we can only have two because that's half of four. Um, so we could have like one and two or two and three or uh, three and one. Anyway, we can only have a maximum of two different types. So I'll go, I will go ahead and write up a solution for this real quick and then we'll test out CodePilot. I've whipped up a quick solution here. All we're essentially doing is putting each of these candy types into a set and then we're taking the minimum of the length of the set and the uh, total amount of candies we can eat. I think this should solve it. Let's see. It shouldn't be too hard. Sure, surely this isn't the one I'll fail on. Um, oh my, well, I'll be right back, I guess. I've been away from the camera for literally a second and I realized I forgot to divide this by two like an absolute idiot. Um, stupid mistakes, stupid mistakes, but this should hopefully fix it. There we go. Oh gosh, I really hope I don't lose on this one of all things. <laughs> But let's see, let's see. So we'll reset this. Uh, the AI will get to two tries. So let's go ahead and copy this. Oh, copy this up, paste this over here. That's the problem. Now let's copy the function body. Sorry, not body, I keep saying body, don't I? I mean, function head. And see what it suggests to us. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's, why didn't I do this? Well, it looks like I think this is gonna work, but let's find out. Will it, will it, will it? Oh, it works. It works, incredible. I don't know why I, I went through the length of iterating through this. This is a much simpler solution, but essentially the same thing I did. And this, this is pretty nice. This means it must've actually really understood the problem, unless this happened to be in its training data because this is not an obvious way to describe a problem talking about Alice and candy. So there we go, one point for code, for, uh, for code pilot. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and move on to a hard problem. And if I win the hard problem, that'll be it. But if code pilot gets it, I keep saying code pilot, code pilot. If code pilot gets it, then we will have a tiebreaker. But let's go ahead, I'll, I'll randomize it until I get a hard problem. I've randomized over to a hard problem. I will say that some of the times these leak code hard problems aren't actually that hard, but oh gosh, this one is very hard. <laughs> I've read over it in advance. And essentially what we need to do is we start with an array of a certain length with a pointer at index zero. And we need to calculate given a certain amount of steps and an array length, how many different possible ways there are to end up at zero where all we can do is at each step, move one position left, one position right, or stay in the same spot. So an example of that is if we have three steps with an array length of two, there's four possible thing, ways we can do that, right? We can go right, left, and stay. We can stay, then go right, left, right, stay, and left, or stay, stay, stay. All of this, uh, no matter what we do, will end up at index zero. And they give a few more examples. This is actually a really hard problem. And to be honest, I've been thinking about it for a while and I still don't have a solution. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Copilot go first on this one. And if it gets it right, I'm just going to give it to it because I, I've spent a good amount of time thinking about this. And if I think about it forever, I'm sure I'll come up with some solution. But with the amount of time I've thought of it so far, I don't have anything. You can't br brute force this sort of thing, right? Because the, the, the branching factor is just too large. Uh, you, as they mentioned here, you have to modulo by, what is this, 1 billion? plus seven because the answers might be too large to return. So <laughs> let's give this to Copilot and see if it can come up with anything. Honestly, I'm not expecting much. This is, as I mentioned, a pretty hard problem, but you never know. You never know. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. There's, so it looks like it's using dynamic programming, which is about what I was expecting from this. So that that's a good sign and it's doing the modulo, although Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it will work. Maybe it will work. Uh, not getting my hopes up, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Let's not hopefully. Oh, it's a wrong answer. Wrong answer. That's unfortunate, but it did use dynamic programming and 
I think that's the probably the the right way to go about this. Let me. I'm gonna give it a couple more tries. I I'll also try after this, but I want to see if it can get it at all. I'm I'm very curious. I'm very curious. So here is another solution. Let's go ahead and try this one. No, still wrong. I think it it got it wrong the same way last time, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this a few tries. I'm sure you guys want to see how this works because. Uh, we, we haven't gotten to see too much. Let me try pasting it and seeing if it changes. Oh no, something changed. Let's try this. It's just changed like one or two in numbers. No. Oh, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good, guys. Two, three. Okay, this is definitely new. This is a lot shorter. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How many attempts will it take it to get it right? Or will it just never get it right? That's certainly a possibility. <laughs> Looks like that might be the case. Come on, I'm believing. I believe, surely, eventually. Is this just what it had earlier? I think it might be, honestly. It, it really likes these DP solutions, those these dynamic programming solutions. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, well, we're gonna give it one more go. On its sixth attempt, if it doesn't get it, I think I'm just going to declare myself the winner, even though I'm not trying to solve this either, because it's already, what is it? It's two to one right now. I'm just going to go a few ahead, because I, I honestly, it's just trying like different variations of the same things, which is honestly kind of hilarious. It's like, a, <laughs> it's like what you do when you have no clue it's broken and you just change things randomly. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to get it. That's a shame. That's a shame. I think... That is uh, the comparison there then. I don't think it can recover from this. So that's that's two to one, a score of two to one in my victory. But it, it did, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and try it out on some other problems just in case you all are curious. We'll just choose a random problem because solving one out of three is honestly not very great. This is another hard problem. Let's, let's go for an easier or medium. I'm not gonna solve it this time. I just kind of want to see how it, works here we go we have a let's try this i don't know what's going on here i just want to see if it gets it right and the reason for this is because i looked at the paper for this and i think they said that this gets it right it was like 40 percent of the time on the first try and if you give it 100 attempts it gets it right about 70 something percent of the time if i'm remembering the numbers right at least so I would expect it to get a few more, but then again, this is a very small sample size. So that might be why it's not doing super hot, but we might have just, it might've gotten unlucky with these questions. So let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna submit a random few, see how we do. Oh man, it's it's really not doing too hot, is it? Hmm, I, I kind of wanted it to look better for the video, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So if, if this is how it does, this is how it does. It's still impressive to be able to get really any of these right. You know, programming's a, it's a hard thing to do. So if it can get anything right, that's pretty, that's not too bad. Okay, we'll try one more problem. We'll try one more problem and see if it can get it. I'm just gonna, oh, there we go rotate list okay rotating lists isn't that hard so i will say it's at a bit of a disadvantage because it can't see these pictures here but um yeah not much i can do about that it doesn't take in pictures though that would be an interesting thing to work on in the future i'm sure okay and paste this in let me know what you guys think of this in the comments. It's it's an interesting thing. I'm sure they'll keep improving on it. If you've been keeping up with the news, I'm sure you've seen that there's all sorts of different like copyright possible issues with this. Uh, but it's I'm, I'm curious to see what will come of this. Honestly, I even though it's not working super well right now. Oh, there we go. We finally got something that works and it worked really well, at least. Uh, so it does work on more than one problem. <laughs> That's good to know. Honestly, I might use this in my own coding from now on, even though, as you can see, it doesn't get lots of these right. You know, these are like fairly big problems. I mean, they're small, but in a sense, they're like, you know, they're end-to-end -end problems. It might be nice to have this to make small utility functions, I feel like, or just print out statements for me a little faster instead of having to write things out manually. I don't know. If, if I do, maybe I'll let you guys know. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, though. 
that is going to conclude this video. If you want to see more of this type of stuff, do consider subscribing to the channel. It does mean a lot to me. I would say that I put a lot of time into these videos. This one honestly didn't take too long. Maybe maybe an hour and a half to solve some of these problems and, and get this all prepped. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you next time.